I don't normally do unboxing videos here on this uh, website but today I thought I would because I went out um, to the little supermarket here in the UK the other day and I got this a three-in-one gas soldering iron set um, now apparently you can use this as a blowtorch as a hot air gun or as a soldering iron so let's see what we get in the box shall we right so we'll open the box here and slip out the contents so here's what you get actually in the box um, you get a canister of gas um, which is a propane and butane mix apparently if I can just sort of get that working on the camera it's a propane and butane mix it's only a small can can I get the lid off yeah and there's a lid and there's a load of little a load of little um, adapters that you can break off and put on the top of there for filling different things so that's all of that I'll put that to one side for a moment there's a little box here I think this is just a filler to hold it all in the bigger box it was kind of like that in the box so this little box here is literally just a box with nothing in it it's just a filler just to hold things into the big packaging um, you get an instruction book which is quite a hefty book and then you get the actual um, iron thing itself um, in a reasonable uh, plastic case with a kind of thin cellophane front on it um, it'll not stand up to being sort of in a toolkit terribly well but it's a better box than some things come in in fact some things don't come in a plastic case at all there's two clips on the front there and you can open it up so here's what you get you get these different tips for the soldering iron here that's a flat soldering tip fairly big tip that's a kind of shaped one I don't know if you can see that if I get that under the camera that's a shaped one see it's got two flats on it that one on each side as opposed to the first one that I had that just got one big flat on one side like that you see that there I can get myself in focus and the last one you've got is this really long and thin one with a flat on the end of it just a little flat on the end of there just a tiny one on the end of that and there's one actually on the iron itself as you get it get it out of the box and that is just a pointy tip that's actually on the iron itself as it comes these are screw-on tips as they often are parkside soldering irons um, so they are interchangeable this is the iron itself this is the thing you press to light it and 
you press that and light it and if you hold the button in that's on the other side it will stay lit okay and then when you want to when you want to um, put it out you just press that back again that button on the bottom there pops out and then it would go out so if you just want to light it and use it briefly as a blowtorch or something um, what you would do then is just press that like that hold it do your blowtorch in let go and it'll go out if you want it as a soldering iron and you need it to heat up then press that press the button on the bottom and it stays in when you want it to go out again press it again button pops out and it goes out okay you fill it through the back end there if you can see that so there's the iron itself you also get a reel of electronic solder with flux core it says um, I'm assuming this is now um, this is now lead free solder I would guess you get a little metal dish with a sponge in it you wet the sponge and then you can use that to clean your soldering iron and you get this thing now this is a heat deflector for when you're using it as a heat gun you put this on the uh, on the end of the iron when you're using it as a heat gun and um, it's good for um, putting uh, putting uh, shrink insulation onto cables and this is um, the adapter to make it a heat gun as well. I think you will use this when you're using it as a um, as a um, a flame soldering iron kind of thing. Now the instructions that you get with it are not the clearest it's a massive great big book but most of it is in foreign languages uh, there's only a few pages at the front that are in English it shows you here um, different setups and what to do and how the thing comes apart um, particularly note the nozzles here it says with both nozzles there that is part one and two and so that's one and two there um, it says the wider bit is part number two here and the narrow bit is part number one okay but it doesn't explain what they are very well in fact it doesn't explain at all until you go in a couple of pages and then the things are marked here and two it says is the soldering torch attachment so that's the the thick bit there that's a soldering torch attachment one is the hot air soldering attachment and one is that narrow bit so that's the narrow bit on the end so if you want to use it with hot air you have this bit on if you want to use it so if you want to use it as a soldering gun or as hot air you have this bit on if you want to use it as a soldering torch you only have the lower bit on okay and they come apart by undoing this here and then you put that to one side and this all sort of goes in on itself and comes apart as you see into three pieces 
So, that's a soldering torch, like that. Okay, so that will make like a little blowtorch thing. But when you want to do soldering with the tips, or use it as a hot air gun, you put both of them on, like that. Okay. Like so. And of course, if you're soldering, you've also got to screw a tip in there as well. And if you're using it as a hot air gun, you also need this bit. So what you would do, you take your soldering tip out, just the tip, and somehow you fit this. And I'm not quite sure really how this is supposed to go. It doesn't really tell you anything. Um, I think it's that way up. Okay, and that helps you with it as a hot air gun. So that should work just as a hot air gun. So, we'll take that off a minute and we'll use it for now, I think, as a soldering torch because hopefully we'll be able to see the flame that way. So, to use it as a torch, I've got to take the end piece out, that little bit there, which I nearly threw away then. Put that all back together. And now that should work as a torch. So, let's take the bits and pieces here out of the way and see what happens. Okay, so we now need to fill it up. And this is the tricky part. Okay, so to fill it up, get the lid off your can, don't lose those little adapters. Hold it pointy end down. So the thing is up, the filler is up, put the can on and I'm lucky because it seems to go straight on without needing an adapter um, and just press down on the can and you'll know if it leaks here, press down on the can and you should hear it fill up the iron. Oh, that is leaking so perhaps we do need some kind of an adapter on there so let's see which one looks like it's going to fit the best could it be that one perhaps or maybe that one you've got to do a little bit of trial and error to find which of these adapter things fits on here the best um, and it's not necessarily all that easy to figure out perhaps it's that one right obviously the stuff coming out there's some stuff in the iron that what I'm thinking is you can probably do it without taking this thing apart you can probably just put that on there perhaps and just fill it like so and some definitely does spill out but there's some in there now there's definitely some in there so it should now light when I pull this back and it does. And there you go. So there's your torch. Now, unfortunately, there's no adjustment on it. It is what it is. But it burns with a nice blue flame there. So, that is 
what it is basically and as I say let that cool down I've only had it running for a few seconds so it's not really hot but you can take that off put the other bit back on put it all back together like so and now that will make a hot air burner in theory but you've got to put this on yep that's all that was warm air coming out the end of there that is definitely working as a hot air thing but you can't see it, it's lit but you can hear it and if you look down the end of it if I can get on the camera you can obviously see that it is lit in there so that makes it a warm air gun for if you're doing a sort of shrink wrap or anything like that where you need to shrink something with heat you can do it with that so that is the Parkside Gas Soldering Iron PT370 I'll give you a little shot of the label there and it's available from Lidl here in the UK as of March 2020 okay oh and there is an adjustment on it to adjust your flame there's an adjustment here so let's have a little look at that I haven't seen that so this is probably going to be quite warm now so let's just see yeah the end of it is very hot um, so I need to let that cool down for a second or two really before we start undoing it but it soon cools down and you can take the whole thing apart again like so stick that I mean, it is a bit hot still stick that back on there Stick that on there, whoops, and I've now turned it right down on this little switch thing here, can you, sorry we're a bit out of focus now, I've turned it right down on that little switch thing there, so if I light it again like I did before, has it made any difference to the flame? Not a lot, no, maybe a little bit, that's high, that's low. So perhaps it's made a little bit of difference, but not a massive amount. So, that is the Parkside soldering iron. Um, the gas powered soldering iron, because they do various electric ones as well. But it's quite a good little thing. It's about 15 or 16 pounds out of uh, Lidl. And it seems to be one of the things that's probably worth it. It does feel a little bit lightweight and plasticky in the hand um, but what do you expect for about 15 quid so there you go the Parkside gas 3-in-1 blowtorch and soldering iron if you've enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe and if you're watching us on the library platform why not tip us a few library credits as well it really does help to keep us going and make more videos like this if you've got any questions, leave us a comment or get in touch with us via our website. It's andyshed.callpress.net. Until the next time, see you soon.